Hi there, my name is Chase from the Checkpoint Support Team. Today we're going to take a look at setting up unique booking form policies based on the items that the customer is booking. So this will be helpful in cases where you have maybe accommodations and rentals and you need different policies for both, or different activities that have different policies. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Manage Layout, Invoice, and we need to remove the general booking policy here. You may want to use your existing policy as the basis for your other policies, so instead of deleting this, we can copy it. And you'll want to copy the HTML, because we will be using uh, HTML fields later. And we'll also uncheck the require this policy to be accepted option, and we'll save. Next, we're going to go into Manage Layout Booking Form. And here we're going to create a few new fields. Uh, each new field is going to be a different booking policy, and we're going to use the paragraph HTML field type. So the value here is where you'll enter in your booking policy. You can see I've just copy and pasted the HTML of the old policy in here. If you are just using plain text, it'll be important that you do mark up your plain text with HTML afterwards. So once you have your policy, we're going to go to the Advanced tab, and we're going to enable the Item Specific option. So here you can select which items this policy will be shown for. So this is going to be my rental policy, so I'll just select the rental category, and we'll add this field. And we'll do the exact same thing in making a new field uh, for each category item as required. Once you have your different policies created, we're going to add one more new field. And this is going to be a checkbox field. So this is what the customer will use to agree to your terms under your booking policy. And so under the options, we might want to set this as required if you do uh, require the customer to accept the terms. And we'll add that. So when you're done, you'll have an HTML paragraph field for each of your booking policies, and then one Agree to Terms checkbox at the bottom. Now you can see if I make a booking for a rental item, the booking policy shown will just be our rentals booking policy, and we'll still have to agree to terms to finish the booking. And if I instead book an activity, we will get the activities booking policy. So please keep in mind if your customers do book two different types of items on the same booking, they might receive uh, multiple booking policies. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please email us at support at checkfront.com.